Professor Pat Utomi, who's the founder of the Center for Values and Leadership, is calling for an end to increasing corruption and social injustice in Nigeria. He made this call ahead of the sixth biannual uh, Godi Jidema Foundation annual lecture scheduled to hold later this month with popular Kenyan anti-corruption crusader, Professor, Professor Patrick Lumumba. Modernity at the center of the whole essence of democratic tradition is the quality of public conversation that takes place in a society. Now, the public sphere is the arena of rational public conversation. And society's growth is fundamentally a function of the quality of that rational public conversation. And one of the tragedies of the African condition is that we don't, we've not created public spheres. We've not created marketplaces of ideas. Conversation is abuse on Twitter. <laughs> ethnic abuse, any kind of abuse. And, and we have a duty in, in seeking to elevate our democracy to create that platform uh, for public conversation. And part of what the Goddard Demo Foundation is trying to do with this lecture series is really to elevate that marketplace of ideas, the public sphere, and very importantly, to uh, add to rational public conversation. And one of those who have tried very hard with passion to do this on the continent is uh, Pierlo Lumumba. And it would be interesting to see how uh, we as an elite engage him in Nigeria. Otome further described the government's fight against corruption as tongue in cheek. This, with the Nigerian experience, is that Nigeria is often re referred to as a recursive context, a re recursive economy, a recursive, you know, a recursive two steps forward, three steps backwards, and all of that. Uh, obviously, you can look at many things when you assess the um, struggle with corruption, I'd like to say, rather than fight against. Uh, I think more importantly, systems, putting systems in place that reduce discretion, do more than just looking for who to arrest and uh, put on trial. Uh, all in all, I think the body language has not been very good. I think there's a general public perception that people in public life are very corrupt. A lot of ministers are very corrupt. So why talk about corruption when you are loaded full of people who are perceived?